Hello everyone and welcome back to video number three of this back-to-back -back series of reaction videos, evaluation, analysis. My name is Tu Yang and thank you so much for joining me again. Today we will be listening to Hoist the Colors by the bass singers of TikTok, arranged by Bobby Bass. Uh, a little thing about this video too is that uh, roughly about a month, month and a half, actually yeah about a month ago, uh, Kelly Cossey and I were able to visit and hang out with Bobby Bass. And so um, such it was really, really cool just to, to be able to, to hang out with him, talk music with him. Um, and he did actually show us bits and pieces of this video, and I was just really hooked on, and I wanted to react to this as well uh, as soon as I, I was able to. So here we have it. Let's go ahead and get started. Of course, just like with every other video, before we get started, please make sure you actually watch the entire video. It's roughly about five plus minutes long. Uh, watch it. I'll provide you the link below and come back and let's see if we can break this down together. I know I have 30 minutes or less than 30 minutes to break this down for you. So I'll try to speed up the process a little bit and do a little bit more listening and talking as needed. So. Right off the bat, we'll establish that we are in 6-8 for the most part, and may, it might change, it may not. And I believe we are in F-sharp minor, listening to the beginning only. And this is not, even though most of it is acapella, this is not strictly acapella, meaning that there are acapella sections in the music, but not necessarily for the entire arrangement. So let's begin. What a great introduction there, uh, Bobby. I love the, the video work as well, as always. Um, the color and the solo. And we have uh, some strings, some wind um, background noise to kind of simulate this idea that we are out in a distance. Right, sound has a lot to do with it. You can't use wind for everything. But in this case, wind uh, does make sense because, you know, we're out in the sea. Um this that I mean, meaning that the the sound matches the this the actual um performance so let's start here and bound her in her bones the seas be ours and by the powers and so there's a slight um kind of uh, accompaniment, like a true accompaniment, right? They're accompanying like the the push and pulls, the vibrato, slight vibrato of of this piece. It is slightly slower uh, in this uh, first area, and those higher strings, right? And then you have. Some of this tension here, I don't know if the A is in there, I know I'm kind of filling in a little bit, but definitely the F sharp and E sharp is really, really pulling it through. And this is the assumption that we are in F sharp minor right now. So really, really great. Some low C sharps. And I enjoy the, the smoothness. A little bit in use of vocal fry at the beginning to just kind of get us to lean into the sound in this case. And once again, vocal fry is, it, it's, you, you'll get different takes when you talk to different um, people and their approaches. Because for some people, vocal fry is 100% tension, meaning that there's so much tension that only bits and, and pops of the sound are able to come 
to go through the vocal folds. Whereas others, there is a vocal fry where they are able to have enough length and enough of of an opening in, in the pharyngeal space. And also the larynx is not like so tight that they are able to regulate the air uh, properly or regulate the air in such a way that the vocal fry feels relaxing, meaning that the folds are coming together without them having to add any more tension for uh, vocal fold adduction, meaning that the folds are coming together. So whoever you talk to in this case, just make sure you understand that the vocal fry can be very useful and can also, can also be dangerous if it is used because it is, in fact, 100% folds together and then 100% folds apart, and it happens really quick. So the muscles uh, are either, if they're trained, they can, can regulate it, or if they're not trained, it goes everywhere and it sounds, it doesn't sound great. In this case, it is a great vocal effect that Bobby used at the very beginning. Let's move on to here. Yo. See, there it is, right? So nice. Some really, really great things there. I love the split of the harmonies. So we have uh, almost three parts is what it's filling. That's what I'm hearing uh, in this case. Do you have a solo here? All hands, Unison. And then you have this uh, stack of... It's kind of hard for you to see on the screen here because of the way... Logic colors the key. I'll, I'll have to go in and change that somehow. I, I think I remember how I did it, but it reverted back to um, no colors. So I'll change it to blue next time. In the most, in any case, so this C sharp, let's move down an octave so we can actually. So this stacking of a C sharp, G sharp, C sharp. And then you have that, those sounds. And this, these, uh, the way these oh, these harmonics are set up, C sharp, G sharp, G sharp, C sharp three, uh, gives us not, it gives us a feeling of a C sharp one, even though it may not be there, right? Those psychoacoustics, the way the harmonics are blended together, just gives us. It builds the harmonics for the C1, so it is implying uh, really a C sharp one. Sorry, C sharp one is what I meant to say. Um, let's keep keep going. Right, so we've got octaves here and fifths and fourths. And so triple the octave, right? The low F sharp one. And I love that tension right there. So going to that six, right? Well, there's no resolution right there. You have this F sharp at the bottom. And then it goes back up. So there's so much tension there in, in this. And then also the way... Um, the way the soloist is singing, I believe this is David. Uh, the way the soloist is approaching this, it's that it's not, it's not in such a heavy mechanism that it feels like, okay, this person just wants to sing. This almost sounds haunting in a way, meaning that the voice is just barely on, and it's it's as if he's telling a story as opposed to singing the story. I hear that again? No, sir. He is singing, of course. Unison down. Staying on that. There it is. 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 
Yeah, really, really nice going right into that F sharp one. So that descent. And what's great about this, and also subharmonics if you are using it, um, if you would like to use it, is you'll notice that there's it's not weighted in such a way. So it it it, it increases this idea of uh, of the haunting line, right? It, it it doesn't sound like there's a break either, which is really awesome. How it's right. So it's it's not. He's not shaking. He's not vibratoing down there. He's not uh, adding all the weight. He's just kind of setting it right there. It's like there is my voice, and it is within the line, within the sleeve of the entire phrase. Otherwise, the the uh, disconnect it would be too much if you were to do it um, uh, differently. Uh, in this case, which is very possible because I, I've, I've heard of his videos and he does such an amazing job and that he can choose that color if he wants to. And so when you think of extended techniques, do not underestimate the the power of the line because if, if you do, uh, all you're doing is you're disconnecting your voice, right? If you're singing it too soft, da, 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 you know, da, try to dig into it, that's not going to that breaks the entire line and it doesn't work. You must make sure that if you are using the extended technique that it is within the color and the intention of the line. So one more time so you can hear that. And I love what the violin is doing, it's doing it. I believe that's what I'm hearing. Um, I go back a little bit more. Yeah. There we go. That's what I meant. That's what I meant to capture. So, um, some really, really, really great there. And I believe it's. Um, I'll have it in the description because I, I just can't think of it right now. But the, the, there are yeah, the the strings just sound so so great, and I I I can almost tell that this is not a patch. I'll check the description and I'll I'll post it from there because I'm just doing this. Um, I grab the video and I just go straight through, and I'll, I'll actually I'll, I'll load up the website right after this, <laughs> so I can give credit where it's due there. In the screen. Nice. No third, right? Just open harmonies. With the bass drum. Before we begin there, I think I believe is the the upper part uh, above above uh, the other the the lower parts, which is interesting because you know it's you have that boom boom boom, but when singing the chorus part, it is actually raising that seventh from flat to natural, so giving us the harmonic minor, going between the harmonic and, or the, not really harmonic in a sense, because we don't, we don't ever hear that six. The exception of the tension that occurs, but in, in the context of here, we have, almost, um, yeah, penet almost pentatonic in a sense. Let me go back just a little bit here. A little more. One more. <laughs> oh, thieves and beggars, never shall we die. Nice F sharp one again. Is oh, oh, all together, 
scarier approach and scare by scarier no not scarier meaning that it's the timbre is so different from the from the others it, it's almost like you have a you, you have a, a brass instrument right the tuba or the bass trombone right there's all this this if you want to call it metallic sound this uh not a warmer, but also in your face sound, uh, because I mean, th there are so many descriptives that we can go through that uh, Eric gives us. But what I do want you to to, to really really listen to is what he's doing um, vocally as well, uh, from breath to to breath connection, as well as the drop off to I believe what feels like a C sharp one or in that area. The bell has been raised from its watery grave. Do you hear its sepulchral tone? We it sounds like it's going down to an F1 there, but it could drop off a little bit lower in this case. Yeah, so right there, you notice his beginning, it's just there, right? And it's, there's no prepper. Really, the preparation is before he even begins. So, what what a great, great approach and a great uh, musician. The bell has been right. So it's not the, the bells. You know, it's there's no there's no like um what do you call that? Usually, when uh, when uh, singers sing that low, they prepare so much that you can tell that there's preparation whereas the great thing about eric is that he's he's done this for so long and he can sing in this range naturally that it's just it's just there it's within right you can hear it within myself and i'm demonstrating because i, I want you to really hear these nuances of technique as well right i can kind of make it in that way but for me the mental preparation is very very much more so and it's not to say that Eric doesn't prepare for this. It's just he allows for it, and that it's and it's a seamless connection. There's no okay. Am I in subs? Am I connected with the subs? Are my sub overtones correct and in within the sleeve of my full voice? And for him, it's I'm gonna sing. Here's my voice. So that's 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 just the one thing I really enjoy about listening to Eric. We'll listen to this line all the way through. A bell has been raised from its watery grave. Do you hear its sepulchral tone? We call to all, pay heed the squall, and turn yourself toward home. Very nice. Yo I love the silence too. Nice. 
you know, really, really, really great stuff. And I believe that is, uh, yeah. So going by big, big, uh, Brevik, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, my, my fault there. Yeah. Some amazing, amazing high A's there. ship right the creaking sounds all of that hey guys thank you There's so Bobby. much for checking out this cover of hoist the colors made by me and my friends from tiktok as most of you probably know this was a large tiktok duet chain that happened about a month or two ago and everyone really wanted a full cover of it so thank you for supporting us and allowing us to make this as you guys just heard we had some incredibly talented people on this music video so if you want to check any Danny, of them out all of their links are in the description of this music video so go give them a follow go subscribe to them and check out all right so a uh, violin is mia and kelly so thank you so much for providing that soundscape and i believe there are some octaving uh, things going on otherwise the cello is like <laughs> way below below the um the the cello, the natural cello range. Maybe there's some subharmonics. I'll have to show you that video of subharmonic uh, cello as well. Anyways. And last but not least, in case you guys didn't know, I have a Patreon page with a ton of bonus content for my patrons. I actually had the demo of this song uh, released to my patrons about a month ago. So if you are interested in early access or my Discord server or hearing isolated vocals from my TikTok, go check it out here or in the description. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. There you go. There is the Bobby Bass, the Bobby Bass, the Bobby Bass, depending on how you want to emphasize it. Really, really great, um, great arrangement. I, I am enjoying this, the different soundscapes, the different approaches, this chain, this idea, right? There's something about, uh, about uh, this style of music, whether you want it, uh, to call it the sea shanties or um this idea right and using that pentatonic scale right well not really a pentatonic pentatonic is So we're using one, two, three, four, five, five notes only, right? And that entire melody, the the reason why I th I feel, and this could, this is a personal opinion, why I feel like it is, this is such a powerful song and in its simplicity, in that it is very singable, uh, minus minus the range, of course, if you're going down to the, the low F sharp one. It is it is very singable and memorable, right? Boom, 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 boom. And so these, this idea of having something that's singable and then bringing a chorus about you have... Um, the, the the idea of ensemble uh, is can be created easily uh, with with melodies like this and you think think about the tunes that we really enjoy what do we notice most about those tunes is is it singable is it memorable uh, or is there melodic content that is accessible and when you listen to a lot of music um, it's all about accessibility it's not necessarily about the, for the first part, yes, there there is a level of musicality that occurs in all instances of music and on all in all genres. I would like for us to consider when we listen to music is its 
accessibility as opposed to its um as opposed to where it it lies on the genre and the skill uh, level factor or the whatever you want to call that on that spectrum because what what happens is when we start doing that we start to codify these uh, these songs in such a way that well I can't listen to grunge because it has things that I don't like about it rather than saying well what makes it accessible what is the reasoning behind uh, having um, a double bass pedal having heavy heavy bass and heavy guitar crunch in the mid range with a lot of highs and a lot of uh, rhythmic uh, inter rhythmic interruption as well as uh, harmonic interruption and harmonic distortion what is the reason for all that well when you think about emotionally the emotions are not only are they really really high and really really loud and powerful they have to be expressed in such a way that the sound reflects the emotion right the sound captures the emotion and what bobby has done here is he set up a soundscape not only the acapella uh, areas but also with violin cello and um, bass drum as well as the sounds of the sea um, the sounds of steps that you hear above <laughs> and all of these sounds uh, coming together they make the track right it's so it's no longer just about oh, well, this is not music that I usually listen to, so I must, I probably won't enjoy it. Well, I, I'd like for you to think beyond that and feel the music uh, as it is intended to be. So rather than being sympathetic to the music, meaning that waiting for it to give you a reaction, be empathetic to the music and see if you can approach it in such a way where you are within the music or you are creating the music or you, you yourself are... Uh, is the conductor of the music where you control um, these aspects as well as give up control of these aspects and you you will be not only a you, you will not only appreciate the music at a different level but I almost guarantee that you'll find things that not everyone else finds you'll find this hidden treasure uh, within hoist the colors you'll find this hi hidden treasure in that music that you thoroughly enjoy and you know chord progressions right it's very simple you almost it's just mostly 5 1 and then a 2 1 and then you have that flat 7 and what's great about that is that there's no there's no escaping <laughs> this uh, this idea uh, this idea right it's so repeatable and it stays there for the most part until the verses and then the verses gives you that extra nuance so once again thank you so much we are at the 30 minute mark or right around there uh, i want to thank you again please check out the bobby base the bobby base uh, patreon.com the bobby base um, all his information and everything about this track is will be listed below as well i love doing that not only is it an is it a privilege and honor for me to review these videos but it is uh, always a blessing to see uh, my bass brothers and to give them what's what's due not just um not just a oh you know not just a, a reaction and i i these reaction videos uh, obviously are more technical than the, at least and and what i've seen than others and that's not to discount the other videos because there's something and peter Peter Barber actually brought this up, and I, I, I love uh, re restating it, is that there's something authentic about, about a visceral reaction, a visceral response to music, because that's what we, that, that there's uh, something authentic about it. And for me, the, the authenticity is in how I feel, right? And this is this is what I do when I listen to music. It's a little overbearing and can be very taxing at times when I hear music and when I hear sound uh, in that is it becomes, right, the chords become a part of my visceral reaction. The, the line becomes a part of my reaction because that's what I do as a conductor. The bass, the voice, and the, the melodic line, the harmonies become a part of my visceral reaction. And so that is also a response uh, in, in into my music. It's not just, oh, okay, well, let's go ahead and break this down at such a level so that I can garner 
garnish uh, all these uh, responses from people. That's not the case. What it really comes down to is this is really what I do to music whenever I hear. And sometimes it's it's a little bit much. I, I understand personally for me, it gets uh, I get pretty tired and my immediate distraction is with sound. So when I hear sounds, when I hear something, um, my mind goes to it's okay. What what was the reason behind this? How how can I connect to this? And where where is my relationship with this sound? And how do how can I recreate it? Or what does it mean to this person? And so, um, kind of rambling a little bit on here, but I just wanted to point that out. Uh, when you listen to these reaction videos, um, come with the understanding of the music, and please listen to the music first. And get your own reaction and response, and and then come here and let's talk about some of these technicalities. Because I want you to listen to it with your response and your own reaction, so that that way you have your own. Um, you're not influenced by by my responses. Rather, you are encouraged by the responses, or you um, can challenge these responses as well. So, thank you so much once again. My name is Tu Yang. This is video number three. We have one more video in this chain, and then I have some music for you guys after, uh, in the following week. So thank you so much. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.